watching HBTV. I'm Amber Getz here with Nancy O'Dell, host of Access Hollywood and now author. How are you, how are you doing, Nancy? I'm doing good. It was called Full of Life, Mom to Mom Tips. I wish someone had told me when I was pregnant because when I was pregnant with my little baby girl who's almost two now, there were so many things that happened to me that were either scary or surprising or embarrassing or terrifying. And they didn't need to be that way because sometimes they weren't threatening to the baby or me, but I just didn't know that they were going to happen, so I didn't know, and so I just felt like that I was constantly saying to my, my friends, why didn't y'all friggin' tell me that was going to happen? And so, and even though I read so many different pregnancy books, there were so many things that were left unmentioned, so therefore I felt the need for the book, and also some things in there, you know, to my, I talk about how great that my labor actually was, and my delivery, and I just felt that that needed to be said. I also talk about um, things to help people out, you know, fashion-wise, and there's the belly band, and there's even pregnancy spanks that people don't know about, the belly band, where when your pants start, um, won't button anymore, it actually covers the bottom of it, and when your shirt rises up, it comes out from beneath it. It's kind of like a tube top for the belly, mm -hmm. and therefore you can make your wardrobe last that much longer. You don't have to run out and buy, you know, new stuff all the time. And then other things, like I had, like I woke up one morning and I had like red spots all over my chest, and I'm thinking like, oh my God, what do I have? The measles or the mumps or, you know, what could it be? You know, I'm thinking like, I hope there's nothing that is going in that's harming the baby. And I simply found out from my doctor that, you know, when you're pregnant, you have so much more blood in your body because you're pregnant that I was actually seeing the ends of my blood vessels so it was actually nothing to worry about so I just felt like you know all these things even from like not supposed to get foot massages because it can set off contractions I didn't know that I found that out by accident you know all these things that like I was going why didn't somebody tell me this and I just so it's like, like a wide a it's a wide range it's not just I mean, it's from pregnancy through like, oh, what's this spot on my baby's face? It's everything. It, well, it goes from preconception to the first week home with the baby. So it starts from, you know, trying to get pregnant to the first week home where you need to be prepping the nursery and all the things in the nursery that you need that nobody thinks to tell you about and that um, you haven't registered for because you haven't thought about it. And then all of a sudden you're like, I need that. And you're at the home with the baby and it's a brand new baby. You don't want to leave the baby to go get it. So it's just, I felt like moms needed to know and the dads too as to what was going on. Sure. Now I read tons of books when I was pregnant and a lot of the stuff that I felt like people neglected to leave out was the, the breastfeeding. Oh, oh my god. Oh I'm so <laughs> glad you said that. <laughs> so do you get like really in depth of what really goes on during the breastfeeding process? Well the thing that I say in the book, I'm so glad you brought it up because everybody asked me what was my biggest surprise and my biggest surprise was how difficult breastfeeding was and I say that in the book that I tell moms that they need to get at least or at least take one breastfeeding class before they have the baby or at least get a lactation consultant before they have the baby because nobody told me to do that. Everybody told me that if you have trouble nursing, then you can have a lactation consultant come yeah. in. But nobody told me to get one before I ever had the baby, and you really need to know because there's a whole technique to latching the baby on. There's a whole Absolutely. technique to latching the baby off. There's about five different holding positions. You need a football playbook. In fact, indeed, there is a hold called the football hold, <laughs> and nobody tells you all these things. And if you do it wrong, evidently, you know, maybe you and I both did it yeah, wrong. Yeah, you mess up. Then, yeah. well, then, then you're sore for about three mm, weeks yeah. and, and on fire sore. You know what yeah. I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Like like worse than labor, yeah. almost. I swear to God, it no, was. It's exactly what I say in the book. <laughs> <laughs> that my labor was easier than the, the breastfeeding. You, so. you hear all the, oh my God, it's amazing. I was just watching an episode of Friends and, and Rachel's like, oh, look, it's so amazing. I'm like, amazing? It's horrible the first time you do it. <laughs> it's just you don't know what you're doing. And it's not as not. I thought it was going to be all nature and instinct. And it's not. And I mean, yeah. it is a wonderful bonding experience. Sure, absolutely. And it's so good for the baby. And I did it for eight months. But there's three weeks until the soreness went away because I had done it wrong from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I, I just wish that somebody had told me to get a lactation consultant or just take one breastfeeding class or yeah. just, just find out a little bit about it ahead of time. Because sure. you think that, you think, how difficult can it be to put the baby against your breast? Yeah, but it, how hard? It's actually very difficult. It is difficult. you got to have skill. Yeah. Well, Nancy, <laughs> where can someone find your book? It is in bookstores nationwide, or you can get it on Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com or Borders.com and then in all the bookstores. Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. We'll be watching out for your book and reading up on it. I appreciate it. I'm Amber Getz for HBTV.